ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు ద సెషన్ ఆన్ ఎంబడ్ సిస్టమ్స్ అండ్ ఇట్స్ రిలేటెడ్ ఇంటర్వ్యూ క్వశ్చన్ రెడీనెస్ ఇట్స్ అగైన్ గోయింగ్ టు బి అనదర్ టెన్ క్వశ్చన్స్ టువర్డ్స్ లర్నింగ్ ఎంబడ్ సిస్టమ్స్ రిలేటెడ్ ఇంటర్వ్యూ క్వశ్చన్స్ అండ్ మైక్రో ప్రాసెస్ మైక్రో కంట్రోలర్ ఎక్సెట్రా వుడ్ ఆల్సో బి ఇన్క్లూడెడ్ యూర్ గోయింగ్ టు సీ నెక్స్ట్ సెట్ ఆఫ్ టెన్ క్వశ్చన్స్ విత్ ఆన్సర్స్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ first question uh, what is an addressing mode all about and what are all the addressing mode supported in 8085 let's make it let, let's make this question generalized uh, so what are all the addressing modes supported in most of the microprocessor or microcontrollers can be the question before that we need to understand what is an addressing mode simple um, i am giving a student by name x with a material uh, to deliver it to a guy called y okay the material if is part of x himself if i have given it explicitly and if i tell that this is where you need to go to give this is called addressing it is it can be made further easier i am posting a letter in that letter i am writing address what is that address all about that is the place where i need to deliver the content i need to write this properly to specify the postman to deliver contents appropriately at the destination when a microprocessor or a microcontroller is available it is normally interfaced with so many peripherals and we may have to deliver content or take data from multiple peripherals connected to uh, the microprocessor or the microcontroller so we need to specify from where to take data or to where to store it so that is being done through the addressing mode there are so many addressing modes supported uh, normally we have five addressing modes that is mostly covered in all the microprocessor controllers first one is immediate micro uh, immediate addressing mode direct addressing mode register addressing mode register indirect and implicit addressing there are fewer addressing modes also so these are most common which can be seen in most of the microprocessors or controllers so to put it very simple addressing mode specifies from where you can take the data for it to be processed to where you need to store the data after it is being processed that's all this is called addressing and the way you uh, tell it is called as addressing mode simple next question uh immediate addressing mode with an example uh immediate addressing mode is all simple if the operand uh, for example here mba a comma uh, 05h here 05 is the data that i'm going to process which means i am going to move 05 into a if it is explicitly mentioned in the instruction itself it can be called as immediate addressing mode which means that the microprocessor need not go and search elsewhere for the operation to be completed i have the data right as part of my instruction which can be referred as immediate addressing mode state the purpose of using instruction decoder uh, well whenever the instructions are available for example i am writing a, a code for adding five numbers uh, addition code simple addition code i have written five lines of code for example uh, it will be first fetched from the location where the instructions are stored so once it is fetched it has to be decoded to understand what is the instruction all about so this is done by the instruction decoder the instruction decoder will understand what the instruction is all about and it will decide what to be done in the next stage it's very simple it decodes the instruction it is available in most of the microprocessor and microcontroller without which nothing can happen state any one of the applications where microprocessors are deployed a very simple and uh, easiest example that anybody can remember is traffic signal um there are many 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 examples available so don't get confused with that you can list at least 10 examples in a minute it's very easy um next question what is the need for the hold signal in 8085 this hold signal is also used in some other microprocessors but with some other names uh, so it's it's hard to uh, make it generalized again uh, whenever um, a process a particular process is using uh, the uh, bus like address bus or data bus or whatever and in case there is a higher priority uh, stuff coming in higher priority interrupt coming in the complete control of the buses should be released and it should be handed over to the uh, process which is coming in for example i am trying to answer a question of a person who has asked me and now i get another question which is far more superior and far more uh, interesting so what do i do i need to turn my attention to the second guy as early as possible so priority that's all in that case i'll raise a hold signal to just release the control bus address bus and the data bus at the earliest as possible to proceed with the highest priority process next question what is the need of hold a hlda signal okay uh, whenever there is a request from um, any process for uh, releasing the buses it will be done through hold and now whenever it is released i need to give a hlda acknowledgement which means that cpu uh, can have the control over the buses and proceed with the normal flow 
after the process is over it is it is an acknowledgement so uh, let's not confuse much about it it is just an acknowledgement what is 8255 uh, 8255 is a programmable peripheral interface uh, whenever 8085 is connected to any other external peripheral i cannot directly connect it so i need a 8255 ic to interface 8085 with any other external peripheral uh, nowadays we don't use it because we go mostly with uh, microcontroller and microprocessor which can be directly interfaced with anything else uh, this is in specific to 8085 so if somebody asks you what is 8085 we need to say it as it is ppi which is called programmable peripheral interface what is 825 what is 8259 8259 is interrupt controller um, nowadays we are not again using it this is old and day school material what is 8253 8254 it's nothing but that timer and counter ic uh, which is frequently used with 8085 and uh, 8086 uh, uh, eras microcontrollers microprocessors uh, so they are capable of doing uh, certain things but not as much capable as the modern day microprocessors could do what is rs in rs232 rs is recommended standard RS-232 is uh, one of the uh, standard interfaces that uh, we have uh, to interface my microprocessor with anything else and it's it's very old but still uh, very stable even uh, even nowadays RS-232 is used so RS is recommended standard now the next question is pretty more important uh, what is null modem null modem is one of the concepts that is related to RS-232 where i can have uh, two devices connected uh, by just interfacing transmitter to the receiver and receiver to the transmitter and shorting the ground if i have this configuration available this is called null modem that's all uh, today session is over with this i'll go to the next level probably shortly with more questions i hope you are enjoying the session thank you very much